Tasso Island with Ivan's Travel. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear me, it's probably already loud in here, but yeah, we're about to go. It's five to nine. Yeah, I'm excited for the trip. almost an hour to get there. Not exactly, approximately an hour to get So we have arrived at Tasso Island. I welcome you here. This is Tasso Island and you are here to do a trek from here to Kisi Beach. And it will take you about 45 minutes to one hour. In Tasso Island we have about three villages. Oku Town, Sangwima and Allen Town. On your way, you let me say for instance, you just wait um, in a particular area to just refresh yourself. Maybe you need to drink or you need a time to just take a rest or pause along the journey. After that, we'll take you to the to the mango. I think about four of you. you want six? Okay, sorry, six of you will visit the mango with a local canoe boat. Then you then go to Baoba restaurants to have your lunch. Hi guys, so I'm at Tasso Island and we are just about to trek to um, just the other side of the island. So we've just, <laughs> these kids are like staring at me like, where is she from? Um, yeah, so we're about to walk to the other side of the island. Say hi guys. <laughs> Of course, we are very much afraid, and we had a lot of rumors that uh, the rebels were about to come and attack us here. So all of us became scared, and we decided to, to abandon the place. We, we on paddle boats, we left here to, to go to that uh, 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 village that Ruberi. is called uh, Ruberi. Went there to, to hide ourselves because we some of us had even received letters. You know, these guys, yeah. these rebels, they, they were very very much unpredictable. So we had to receive letters on the ground. We, when we open them, we see that they, we, 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 they, if you read those letters, you see some kind of threats yes. that they were, up, they were ready to come and uh, uh, rain some hazard or havoc here. Okay, so right now I'm at Bonka Lake and Emmanuel, who lives here, he was just telling me that they used to... Emmanuel, come here. They used to go rise. Come here. Why are you shy? Okay, so this is Emmanuel. Let me yeah. get him better, better like. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah. So tell me more about Bonka. Mm. So when in the rainy season we used to go rise at the Bonka, but just um, because of the the salt water, it enters uh, at the Bonka, so we stopped to go rise rise here. Um, just after ten years back, um, we are here today to see. Um, we ask. Um, the benefits we are gain from the bunker. Mainly in bunker, only, we are not doing fishing here too much, but only we used to grow rice. This is the benefit that we have at the bunker. Okay, so they don't grow rice here anymore. Um, they used to in the past, but because of the the, the salt water. amount of salt that yeah, comes through, yeah. they because can't. The salt grow water comes through, so we decide not to grow no more rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But then you were saying it re rainy season, like yeah, apparently in the rainy season, in the everyone comes to swim here. Yeah, in the rainy season, everybody comes to so swim beautiful. at the bunker because in the rainy season that's full of rain and water, so people come to swim and some of them they use they come with their cloth to book to launder their clothes okay. at the bunker because <laughs> the water is very fresh at the rainy season. I see. Yeah. Thanks, Emmanuel. Yeah. This is going to be a long trek. A very very long trek. We got here maybe half an hour ago and we're still walking the first um, town of Tasso, the bigger region and then they have Oku town and Allen and another one, Sabilma. Thank you <laughs> Emmanuel. So we're gonna walk through them now. <coughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. This is what you call bakery. Do you know what the great thing is about traveling Sierra Leone is that I'm learning 
other languages. This is Shireen. Hello. I'm so hello. She works for IPC Travel. And yeah, the great thing about traveling the other regions is that you learn like the other languages. So for example, here in Tasso Island, they speak predominantly Timini. So I've just learned um, Momo is Tenki. Um, and I've just learned this word as well, Apoto. Apparently that is the word for wet man, white person, because there's a few on the trip and all the kids are like, Apoto, Apoto. So funny. But um, yeah, this place is beautiful. Look at it. Stunning. Right now, I'm just passing the Poro Poro Society. I can't snap it because I think it's a bit disrespectful, but um, it's one of the major secret societies in Tasso. But yeah, it looks quite interesting in terms of what they've done as their meeting space. But yeah, the hike continues. Look at all the aloe vera in Tasso. Okay, now guys, I'm with Mr. Amps Cabo. Say hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, so he was just explaining how um, Tasso used to be uh, an island that was dominated by the Creos. The Creos is one of the smallest ethnic groups currently in Freetown. I'm from Creo descent. So I was just asking him what happened? Why did we disperse? Like, what's the history? Okay. Now, Tasso used to be a place that is dominated by the Creoles. That is why, in fact, most of the street names, most of the streets are named after the Creoles. So that's why we have John C. Street on Tasso, Davy Street, Fleming Street, ah, Street, etc. Et yes, so they came here after the they came here after after the, the abolition of the slave trade. When the slaves were, when slave trade was being abolished, that was the time when the Creoles came here. So but, but they had to migrate from here to Freetown due to green pastures. So we thought it necessary that the need to get themselves developed more and more. That is why they had to abandon this community. Some went to Aberdeen, some went to Lomley, some went to um, Wilberforce, etc. those areas. That group, the soldier man group, they all there before. <laughs> Mangoes, mangoes for the Okay, so I've just got to the um, ecotourism centre. We're now entering the. Oh man, I need to really improve my my um, video skills. But yeah, we're now entering the Babap restaurant, so I'm starving. <laughs> I'm at the Tasso Island Ecotourism Camp. So we're just waiting for lunch right now, and I can't wait. I'm about to have the banga soup and shell food. So looking forward to that. I've got my banga soup here with shell food. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Okay, so we came from Freetown, Freetown and Tasso Island. Tasso Island. We're actually trying to find it. You don't see her? Maybe they don't know how it's done. But they see bones? I see bones. I don't see bones. Bones is there. Okay, well, I wanted to show where we were now, but we can't find it. <laughs> But yeah, this is a map of Sierra Leone. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Somewhere, exactly. We're in the middle of somewhere. To the chalets. Guys, say hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so this is chalet one. That's chalet one. Chalet one. A real good friend. I know. <laughs> one body is a high body. That's right. Chalet 2. Chalet 2. So, I don't even know where we're headed. Usman. Usman. Chalet 4. Okay. It is well. What's your name? Usman. Usman. Usman, say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, these are the chalets. Oh, 
are quite nice, you know. Cozy. Just at the same ecotourism camp. Chilling in the hammocks. Yeah, this is the life, man. It's like muddy at the moment as the shores have gone down, but. I'm not sure if you can see like through the plants, but there are chalets. They have five chalets here. Hey guys, so I'm still on Tasso Island. I've been here for like the past three hours. It's been good, it's been fun. And I came today with IPC Travel. At the moment we are at the Ecotourism Island Camp. No, I said that wrong. Hold up. We're at Tasso Island Ecotourism Camp. Um, they've been running for two years now, so this is their second season and yeah it's just so nice like very eco i'm reviewing this at a later time but yeah this is just magic i love it so much it's been a nice day i had my banga soup and shell food that was great as well um i'm not sure what time we're leaving but yeah some people have gone to swim after we ate others have just been chilling it's been a really nice day i've met and made new friends met new people and yeah like i'm definitely coming back here i'd love to stay in the chalets um yeah not much to add just enjoying the view and the sun and life yeah, have you enjoyed the trip guys it's been lovely had a good time yeah. thank you Danny. Okay. Santos, how are you? Hello, Santos, 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 Santos,